Greetings, my love. This is part two. I'm basically, again, speaking about using the water deities to help you to connect to your ancestors and to heal. Um, as I was saying, Yemeya being the great mother Orisha of the ocean and Oshun being the mother of the river, the river flows into the ocean. So, like I said, you can see Oshun as Yemeya's little sister, and in some instances, she may be seen as her daughter. You need to visit the river. You need to visit the water. You need to visit the ocean. You need to visit a body of water if we're going to start this work. That is what needs to happen. If you do not have water near you, it needs, you need to make time to visit some water. Where the water and the land meet is something that we call a crossroads or something that we call a portal. You can make it a portal, but it's something we call a crossroads, basically where the unseen and the seen, the living and the dead, or the place, duality, this place where these two elements meet. The water is a place where you have land, and you have water. Beneath the surface of water is so many different things going on. Sometimes animals will come up and peek their head out. If we go to the ocean, sometimes we'll see the sharks and the dolphins come up and flip and show us, okay, this is what's going on underneath here. But you need to visit water because that is where your ancestors are. Where there is water, there is spirit. That is an old ancestral saying. Where there is water, there is spirit. The water is particularly important for women, particularly important for women who are going to create the link between themselves and their ancestors to do the healing that's needed. I want to also speak about some things that can aid you, what you need to take down there with you when you go. If you burn Yemeya candles or Oshun candles, these seven-day Orisha candles, which are available at MadamSelena.com. And, of course, I will put a link down there for you. When you are finished burning these candles, don't throw them away, my love. Do not throw your candles away. Don't throw your magic away, even if it's finished burning. These are what you take to the, the water. The candles are what you take to the water, especially Yemeya Oshun, because that, their spirit is there. If you've written petitions for them, definitely take it to the water. But before you even go in there to take your candles, we are visiting the water because we are creating that link. You need to go to that water. You need to let the water speak to you. The waves are always speaking. You need to let your ancestors know, I am here. I am present. I am ready to use my vessel to heal my bloodline. It's not simple work. It's not something you just step into. You might say, well, damn, why do I have to heal my blood? I don't feel like doing that shit. I don't want to. Fuck that. You might, you might even be like, but this is what I'm saying. The reward, the honor. See, we live in a world where instant gratification and bullshit is what's magnified. That's what's honored. That's what's respected. Instant gratification, bullshit, quick come up. No, 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 no. We're going to go back to the indigenous way, the African way, where sacrifice is what was honored, where rites of passage is what was honored. We don't got no rites of passage anymore. Where's our village? Where's our rites of passage? What are we going through? What are, besides graduation from these institutions, what are we going through as a community that is showing I have reached a certain level of power? Where is my accountability? Where are my levels? It's not our fault. We 400 years removed. But this is why we're going to go right back to the motherland. We're going to go right back to the indigenous spirituality so we can be in alignment with what our DNA needs, what your melanin needs. And what your melanin needs is for you to heal your ancestors. So when we go down to that water, you might even be inclined to put your feet in the water, to sing, to dance. Don't worry about what the other people around you think. If it's other people around you, you down there to bring the motherland out. You bring it every day. Every day you bring it. They scared? Oh, well. If you scared, go to church, baby. But if you're real, 
if you're serious about really healing your ancestors, then you will do what needs to be done. And that first step is going to that water. Now, you may have grandmothers that were heavy into the church. Most of, most of us do. Grandma was in church every Sunday. She was a good Christian. Beautiful. I love it. However, when she transitioned and went up into them realms, oh, baby, she saw Yemeya. She saw Orola. Alo Dumere. She see the African gods. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's, that's what's going on. That's who you're going to see. Oya is the one who's taking those souls, those new souls, passing them through. Taking them to the other side. So they're going to see gods that look like them. So you don't have to worry about that. If that is one of your psychological hangups. I know a lot of women tell me, look, my people were Christians. Yeah, they were, but they're on the other side now. And they see everything and they know what's up. You cannot pull the blindness. You can't pull the wool over the eyes anymore. MadamSelena.com definitely has some products and some energy and some ashe for you to get in alignment with this work. In addition to this seven-day Orisha candle, the Orisha candles that are available is Yemeya, the spirit of the ocean, Oshun, the spirit of the river, Elegua, the road opener. <laughs> All ceremonies begin and end with him. So a nice little offering for Elegua, rum, cigars, candy, money. That's nice. Just to get the Ashe flowing, just to, just to allow him to open the roads and open the door for you. Ogun, the spirit of iron and technology, the warrior. Ochosi, Oya, and Abatala. Those are all Orisha candles that are available at MadamSidian.com, seven day candles. Why seven days? Seven days because seven is a holy number. And an odd number of days is what's needed to do a ritual. I tell my clients, when I send them an herb bath or anything, you need to do this for three, five, or seven days. Depending on the situation, you might need to do it for nine days. You might need to do it for a period of three months. You might need to do it for a period of seven months. You might need to do it for a period of nine months or maybe three weeks or five weeks, but an odd number. It's just the way things are, just the way things go. This is just high African spirit science. The Yemeya moon mist. Now, let me tell you, this is used because I've taken this from my personal collection. This is my personal use item. And this is the moon mist here that is available at MadamSedina.com. It is a moisturizing mist. It is charged under the moon. It is charged with the energy of Yemeya, the goddess of the sea. This mist right here is an aura spray that can be used on the aura to cleanse the aura. It can be used on your body, on your hair, from head to toe to bring you into alignment. And it smells like heaven. It has real sea salt in it to really give you that cleansing aspect but also to clear the space out as you get ready for this ancestral healing. If you're new to this, or if it's something that you have anxiety about or something you need to be eased into, work with Yemeya for at least seven days first. Get her candle. Get her moon mist spray. Or even get her love potion. This Yemeya love potion here, which is also available at MadamSelena.com. She also has an aura spray. There are also several mermaid items inspired by Yemeya that you can work with first to ease yourself into first understanding your emotions, understanding your womb and your sexuality, understanding the deepness and the depthness of what being a melanated individual means, understanding your bloodline, understanding this rich ancestry. I believe in you. And I know that you can heal your ancestors. In the first video, I got very emotional because the spirits of the ancestors were here with me. And they still are here with me. I'm a woman who sheds tears when spirit is around me. Whatever your thing is, when spirit comes around you, find that. But going back to the first question I asked, why do we need to heal our ancestors? Because our future depends on it. Why do we need to heal our ancestors? 
because they use our vessels. Why do we need to heal our ancestors? Because they deserve it. And as I explained to you, the water is the link to you and your ancestors. Yemeya, the ocean, the seven seas, is the link to you and your ancestors. Olokun, underneath the sea, is where the ancestors are. When you are ready, and you need to get ready, because October is amongst us, 2020 is coming, baby. You better get ready. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Come to MadamSedina.com. I'm here for you. I want to help you heal your ancestors. One thing I want to say about investing in your spiritual self and your healing. Do not spare an expense when it comes to you doing what you need to do spiritually. All these material trinkets are cute. And I understand I am a luxurious woman, so believe me, I understand the needing of things. But if you can make a sacrifice for one month or one week or one paycheck to get things that you need and they're luxurious, that's the magic of MadamSedina.com. That's my magic. That's the magic of my ancestors. That's the magic that you possess. That's the magic that I try to bring out of you, that I'm going to bring out of you. Spend some time and some energy getting to know Yemeya, getting to know goddesses, getting to know your ancestors. Turn off the Netflix for a little while. Put the phone down. Close your eyes. Put some of this oil on. Put some of this spray on. Light this candle, which can be dressed for you if you want me to, to really make it come alive. And I promise you, you will be honored with the task of healing your ancestors. Please leave comments. Please share this with your sister. Please understand it's a two-part video. And it got broken up just because the energy was so high. Understand that I love you. I appreciate you. I'm here for you. I am Madam Serena. September was a month of pleasure here at the sanctuary. We celebrated items, services, products, things that were centered around pleasure, sensuality. Yemeya is very much pleasure, sensuality. She's the water. But what comes with that is the service of healing yourself and your sexuality and your womb, healing your community, but firstly, healing your ancestors. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much. Please come back and watch this video anytime you need inspiration. I'm going to be inspired and watch it myself. I send love, eternal blessings to each and every one of you who is watching this. I'm so thankful. And as I bring this cipher to a close, I want to give personal thanks to Celestine Bright, my newest ancestor, who is in the ethers, watching over, who I'm sure has let her presence be known in this video, who I'm sure is here right now, who I'm sure takes over my vessel and allows me to be a great woman. I want to send love to my other ancestors, Dante Suggs, Chester Jenkins, plenty of them. I want to send love to my mother, Orisha, Yemoja, to Oshun, to Oya, Abatala, Ogun, Shango, Elegua. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking the time to heal your ancestors. I promise you, they deserve it. I promise you, you deserve it. It can't even be put into words the power that comes from taking that task on and saying, I'm going to heal you, ancestors. I love you enough to heal you. Thank you. All I, I, I am overwhelmed with gratitude right now that the ancestors allowed me to be a voice for them. 
go into your respective days, go into your respective nights. And remember that the ancestors are on your back. They are in the trees. They are in the breeze. They are in the grass you walk on. And also remember, you too one day will be an ancestor. In which way do you want your children, their children, your offspring, in what way do you want them to honor you? Would you want them to only come to you when they need something? I don't have a problem helping you, you would say. But you wouldn't want them to only come to you when they need something. You wouldn't you would want them to also give you the foods that you like, give you the drinks that you like, give you the vices that you like. Like my offspring needs to know on my ancestral altar, I want coffee in the morning just because what I want rum and I want some cigars there filled with medicine. <laughs> you know? Treat your ancestors well. Heal your ancestors. Heal your bloodline. And I just want to say from another personal experience, since I dedicated myself to healing my ancestors, my family has been healed. The family who is still here on earth with me, there has been a unshakable bond. Um, you know, families have their fair share of issues but I feel like we have been able to move through so much and so much healing has been promoted. So much open communication, honesty, trust, and love has been promoted over and over just because the ancestors are free. The ancestors feel honored. The ancestor spirits are not in purgatory. Those ancestors need to know that they're loved. So do that work. I appreciate you. I love you. This is La Serena. I will see you soon at the Jambalaya Moon, MadamSerena.com. I'm signing off.